Our well-beloved brother in Christ, Stephen, now Archbishop of York. Recalling God's mission entrusted by Christ to his church to proclaim God's kingdom, to heal the sick and to make disciples of all nations. We share with you the tasks and ministries discerned in consultation, prayer and reflection by those called to serve on the Crown Nominations Commission for the See of York. We hope these will guide you as you take up your new office and ministry. Leadership and Oversight Bishops are ordained to be shepherds of Christ's flock and guardian of the faith of the Apostles, proclaiming the gospel of God's kingdom and leading his people in mission. Archbishop Stephen, you are called to work with me as a partner in the gospel, in sharing the good news with all, exercising leadership of the Church of England in its mission to the nation and in its spiritual and numerical growth, that together we might enable the collegial leadership of our fellow bishops in God's mission for this land and in promoting the unity of the church. To encourage and care for the bishops of the North and to draw us together in our shared vocation to serve here and in our accountability to the communities we serve, to each other and to the church. To create with your fellow bishops, officers and staff a pattern of leadership and governance to ensure the sustainability of our calling, to share the gospel, and to serve the communities across the Diocese of York. Refreshing the mission and witness of the Church. In the Book of Acts, we are told that those who were baptised devoted themselves to the Apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Awe came upon everyone, because many wonders and signs were being done by the Apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Archbishop Stephen, you are called to deepen the theological engagement of us all by rooting us in our Christian story, yet casting a vision for a future which remains unknown, to give us gospel-inspired confidence to be transformational in our life together in obedience to the Holy Spirit, to encourage and stimulate fresh ideas about models for existing and new worshipping communities, and to bring life and shared purpose to our governance bodies as they discharge their responsibilities. To build our confidence in our prayer life, evangelism and discipleship. To have a particular care for the flourishing of the vocations and formation of lay and ordained people across the province. And to equip them for ministry in the northern context to prioritise sharing the love and good news of Jesus Christ to those who we never see in church, particularly families, children, and those living in challenging social and economic circumstances across the diocese. To bring energy to our vision for change, to our aspirations for our life together as a diocese, to open us up to fresh possibilities, and to inject hope and realism into a challenging context. Safeguarding. Jesus said, I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. And let the children come to me and do not stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of heaven belongs. Archbishop Stephen, you are called 
to lead with fellow bishops across the Church of England in the Northern Province and the Diocese of York in creating a culture that is safe for children and vulnerable adults and in alerting wider society to the dangers of abuse of power. Promoting the unity of the Church from the letter to the Ephesians. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. Archbishop Stephen, you are called to work for the unity of our church by deepening the links between the Church of England and the Anglican Communion, encouraging dialogue across difference and enabling us to live within the five guiding principles. To deepen relationships with other Christian churches and with your brother and sister church leaders to speak out for those in need across the province, the nation and the world. Living the Gospel in the world from the Gospel of Matthew. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Archbishop Stephen, you are called to be an advocate for those whose voices are not heard and to connect with those whom society can exclude, to engage in public debate and legislative bodies to shape the life of the nation. To contribute to the emerging social, community and economic agenda of Northern England through working in partnership with wider community, business and elected leaders. To welcome and support colleagues of other faiths, their voice in public discourse and their role in community life. To build connections and partnerships with key community leaders to improve the quality of life of the marginalised and young people across our cities, towns and rural areas. So may the Lord of Heaven who gives you the will to undertake these things give you also the strength to perform them and by his divine providence may his holy angels succour and defend you on earth and may his grace and blessing be with you at all times. Amen. Amen.